Okay, so if you want to fork a repository on GitHub and work on it and get updates from them, but you want to keep yours private, this is how you do it. So first, you got to clone the repository you want. I'll use this one as an example. Next, you can rename it if you want, and then you CD into the folder. I'll just rename it to something random, and I'll CD into it. Next, you want to create a private repository in your organization. You can do this through the web UI if you want, the website, or you can do it with this command. So I'm going to do it with this command. You just need to make sure that you enter the name of the repo that you want, and I'll just call it the same thing I named my folder although you don't have to. And then you put your organization name here and you run that. Now it's created. You can confirm that if you go to it. Boom, it's been initialized with no readme or anything. Cool. Next, we're gonna go back to our folder. So we exit out of that screen and we're gonna create a branch called fork. This is the branch, at least the way I do it is, this is the branch that you're gonna just fetch all their updates from. So if you're working on main or you're working on staging or whatever it is that you're working and you wanna keep your project going in one direction, but you wanna keep getting updates from them just because they might dev out cool features or whatever, I just call the branch fork because that makes sense to me. So we've checked out fork. Now we're gonna reassign everything so they point to the right places. So paste this in and make sure to update this with the name of your thing. And I had to say it like that because I was deleting stuff. There we go. And if you'd like to verify, you can verify like this, that you have the right origin and upstream. Yeah. So now you have a bunch of stuff on your local. You have this branch, you have a bunch of things, whatever. You want to push those up to your repo. So we're going to go like this. And now you are ready to get to work. So switch to your branch and get to work. Or if you want to check that both of that worked, you can run these commands to show the origin and the upstream. So you can see here that my remote is at the repo we made. And the upstream, which we checked up here, this one that we, we're we going to fork and we, we've based essentially private forks and we're going to pull stuff from is there. So if you want to work on your branch, you can get switched to main or wherever it is that you want to do. You can do a bunch of edits and then, oh, cool. The other guys released some new feature that you hadn't thought about, but you want. You can get switch over to fork uh, and you can get pulled down their stuff, which I won't have anything because I just did this five seconds ago. And then you can just migrate it into your code base with a merge, right? You can merge theirs in, you can handle whatever, or, you know, you can cherry pick and do all that stuff. Anyways, that's how you do it and hope it works.